Oh, hi, everybody. Um, yes, I'm a CPA here in the Seattle area. And um, when I was introduced to Univera, I was actually interested in the business side. Every, a lot of people come in because of the products. I actually know about the value of a network marketing business and the residual income it has. And, um, you know, as a CPA, you know, I see a lot of small businesses and almost all of them are in the business of, you know, they make the money by when they see people or they're selling a product. And, um, but if they're not there every day, making sure their employees are working or they're making the sale, they're not getting paid. And so I know the value of being able to build something that pays you over and over and over for th something that you do one time. And you've heard the product testimonies, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, people are not going to give up on taking this product. I'm certainly not. I found out the benefit, the value of the products and went, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that when I was looking at the business side and they've changed my life too. Um, as well as the tax advantages, of course, you know, be, being a CPA, people immediately hear the tax part of that. I don't know how they get tax out of CPA, but um, <laughs> but they do, and so I'm always getting asked about that. And um, what you need to know is that the tax laws are written to benefit people who have businesses, not necessarily people who are employees. And the reason that that works that way is um, just what it says there up on the screen. When you're an employee, you get paid, and then the taxes come right off the top of your paycheck, and you get to pay, you get to spend what's left over, the net amount. You never even really think about how much money you make. <laughs> on, you always think about what how much ends up in your bank account. And when you have a business, you actually get paid, and then you spend your money, and you pay taxes on what's left over. Huge difference, huge difference. So you can save an incredible amount of money having a home-based business, having a Univera business. And um, a lot of that is done things that we're already spending money on. So what can you deduct? You can deduct all of the mileage to travel, to see all the people that you meet with, to come to events like this, um, to visit your family in another state when you meet and talk to them about Univera, when you go um, on a vacation, when you meet up and talk to people about Univera. So all of that can become a tax write-off. Um, your home office, you know, you already can get a deduction for your mortgage interest and things like that, but you can deduct um, for your utilities and your insurance and things that you can't deduct on your Schedule A. So that's a difference. Um, you're already spending money on your computer and maybe a tablet, your internet service, things like that. Um, but if you're an employee, you don't get to deduct those when you have a business you get to deduct that. So that's really exciting. Those are things you're already spending money on anyway. Then when you have a business, of course, you're going to spend a little bit of extra money. You spent money for your startup pack. That's something that you can write off when you start up a business. And how in the world can you start up a business for what you can in something like Univera? Um, even a, an accounting practice takes more money to start up than a Univera business. So, um, you know, for $800 to get the premier pack um, to start your business, that's an incredible value. I mean, chiropractors, when Dr. Coffin talks about when he started his business, hundreds of thousands of dollars to get his business started, you know. So, um, but it's, it's something that you do get to write off you know, uh, accounting fees, um, training and development. That one's really fun because all of us here in Univera are always trying to improve how we um, approach people, you know, how we can um, organize our time better, <laughs> whatever the thing is that you're trying to learn. Um, those are ways that you are improving yourself in your business. And so that can become a tax write-off as well. So it's really exciting to be able to find all these ways to save money. Um, you know, people always ask me, what's the best method for doing that? And I say, it's the one that you actually use. So however, whatever it takes for you to keep track of your expenses, um, that that's the best, best method. Um, and there's a lot of different help. So get with your team. They've got a lot of great resources for being able to help you track that. Um, start from the very beginning. It's much easier to keep track of receipts going forward than to have to go back. So here we're three quarters of the way through the year already. Um, if you haven't started, it's not too late to start keeping track of all those expenses. Um, so a couple little hints, I've got about 30 seconds left. I know that if you don't keep track of them as you go along, you tend to underestimate 
your expenses or you've lost receipts. So that's a huge um, incentive to be able to do it as you go along because you want to take as many of those um, deductions as you possibly can. So, um, you know, why I do Univera as a business, I want that residual income. I'm still working on building my business. Um, uh, I have to, you know, reorganize my time, just like Ginger says, I have to find the time to make it work. Um, because if I'm not there seeing clients, I don't get paid for my accounting business. But when I'm doing Univera, I get paid for that um, every day when somebody orders. So it's really awesome. Thank you so much.